Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly's currently in 15th place. Your Wimbly Wombly's moving along in 15th. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, viral meningitis because I have it. It makes my head hurt and I don't really want to talk about anything else. Um, I, uh, my video about this will be about this tomorrow too. So you guys will get lots of viral meningitis talk. But first, John Green and John Green starting up front. Teammates in life and in love. Um, on the verge, I have been told, of a big announcement, but I haven't been told what kind of announcement. Are they leaving AFC Wimbledon in the capable hands of Houdini? And, oh, what a, what a ball! Husband to husband, that was some hot, hot action. Um, or are they, uh, are they announcing um, something else? No one knows. Well, but but I've, been told that, I've been told that we should know soon. Um, but, but, yes, they may... Yes, that's the, that's the update. I don't really have, the update is that I don't have an update, except that I've heard that there will be an announcement from the John Greens themselves. So, um, yeah, I had, uh, I had viral meningitis, or I guess I have viral meningitis since my head still hurts a lot, um, which is a pretty serious disease. Uh, it's, it's, it's brain fever, essentially. Your, the, the, your meninges, itis, your meninges are... Um, this, this lining around your brain and your spinal cord. Um, very useful. I recommend that, that yours never itis, if at all possible. Ball, John Green. Nope. K. St. Louis. Patron saint of lost crosses. What a ball. Oh, oh you bomba almost scored, Meredith. Wouldn't that have been great in my time of great physical need to been able to have sung the Yobamba song? It would have been great for both of us because you love that song too. Um, so I, um, I had a headache. I woke up on Sunday morning um, with a headache. I actually had it late Sunday night, and then um, I woke up, took some Advil, and wasn't feeling very good. Didn't feel that bad, though. But my headache got worse and worse. And then Monday um, afternoon, I went, uh, I was like in really bad shape, and I started to get a fever. So I texted Dr. Aaron Carroll, the, um, the host of Healthcare Triage. Meredith, did you ever text Dr. Carroll with medical questions? Oh, you, do you go up to him in person? Yeah, Dr. Caro is like, he's essentially become, we don't really, we don't have uh, benefits here at, uh, <laughs> at the office. Nobody has health insurance. I make, uh, I just make them, I make them suffer. Oh, gosh, speaking of suffering, John Green, get there. Oh, um, we were about to make Bournemouth suffer. Who are we playing today? Nobody knows. Birmingham. Birmingham, the greatest city in Alabama. Um, you can travel all over this land, but there ain't no place like Birmingham. I don't know if that's one of, that, that, that one's about Alabama or about, about England. But anyway, so I, I texted Aaron, and Aaron was like, as long as I was like, my neck is stiff, and I have, a fe I have a headache. And he was like, as long as you don't have a fever over 101, like, he was like, I would stay home, but you're getting me nervous now. I'm going to shoot. Your bomb is going to shoot. Oh, your bomb! What? It's in the go. What? Can I see a replay, please? Yes, it was, it was a very tight angle shot. And then, oh, that was a save? Unrealistic. Nobody saves you, Bamba. Far post. Certainly not the Birmingham keeper. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice ball. Ball, John. Oh, Schmergeberg. All right. Um, so anyway, Aaron was like, if you get a fever, you should go to the emergency room. Flash forward to like 11 o'clock. I had a fever. And I was like, I guess I got to go to the emergency room. But I drove myself because I was really annoyed about it. So I don't like going to the emergency room. It's a pain in the butt. And um, sometimes literally, although this time just a pain in the lower back. Um, so, I mean, but I had, you know, at that point I had like the, by far the worst headache of my life. Um, I mean, I wouldn't even call it a headache really. I had this thing that was like a headache times a million. And it was just unbelievably painful. And... So I went in and they gave me, um, pretty quickly, gave me morphine and, um, and then they, they ended up doing a CT scan and also a lumbar puncture, which is where they drain some spinal fluid out of the bottom of your spine, which is pretty uncomfortable. I can't recommend that in good faith. It's a little bit like an epidural um, for those of you who've given birth, but it's, it's actually much worse um, because the, the epidural just goes kind of to the, the, sh the outside of, of your spine and this goes in, in, in all the way in. It was nasty. Anyway. 
Anyway, I had a really good I had a really good doctor in the emergency room. Very grateful to him, and very grateful to my uh, neurologist as well, Dr. Bott. I know he's a big Wimbly Wombly fan, so he's probably watching this. Just kidding, he had no idea who I was. Um, on the last day, he was like, um, "Some of the nurses said that you uh, got a movie." And I was like, "Kinda." I don't know. When I think you got a movie, I think that you made money from it, which I didn't. But anyway, so. Um, so I was, uh, yeah, so eventually I was admitted to the hospital uh, because they thought I had meningitis. And if you have bacterial meningitis, that's like super, super, super serious. Like you can, you die about 15% of the time. Whereas with viral meningitis, maybe die 1% of the time. So much better. If you're going to get meningitis, this is the kind to get. Um, and I got the feeling that my neurologist doesn't get to deliver good news very often because he was just, he kept being so delighted. He would come into the, and he would just be like, I have great news. You definitely have viral meningitis, and it's the most painful kind you can possibly have. And I would be like, wow, that is great news. And he would be like, but you're going to be fine. This is great. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Five days ago, I, w I was actually fine. So in a perfect world, we would just, I would have that again. Anyway. Kept me hopped up on morphine for a few days. I, you know, like, I, it, it, it only occurs to me now that I didn't watch... Look at Ball John Reed. Look at Ball John! Oh! God, what a beautiful man. He runs like, a, like, a, like an out-of-control horse. He runs like a wild horse that won't be tamed. Speaking of which, oh, what a pass! God, that's when you know they love each other. That's when you know... Oh! Other John Green, a little too heavy on the touch. And somebody... I'm starting to hear chants for Deanie and Dicko. But it's not time yet, guys. Come on. Be patient. Be patient with these two men. They've got a lot going on in their personal lives as well as in their uh, professional lives. So it's not like Dini and Dicko who can be totally, uh, totally, well, mm, well, I maybe wouldn't have gone for the shot there if I'd known my buttons from my other buttons. But I didn't. So, yeah, so for like two and a half days I was in the hospital on, uh, on a morphine drip that was very, you know, that did definitely help. Um... I didn't, I, at the time, I kept being like, oh, it's not helping. And then, and then like, I got off the morphine, and I was like, yeah, it was helping. So, yeah, it's just extremely painful, and I feel pretty crappy. Mike Green, that's my dad. It's weird that my dad would play for Birmingham, although I guess he did live there for a while. The one in Alabama, not the one in England. Is this the, are we playing the one in Alabama or the one in England, Meredith? Do you have any science on that? No science. Okay. Well, it could be either. We could be playing the Birmingham-Alabama All-Stars of soccer. Oh, wow, what a, that was great stuff, though, Birmingham. Very impressive. Or we could be playing, um, we could be playing uh, Birmingham, England. We don't know. And we'll, we'll likely never know. This will probably be lost to the uh, uh, annals of history. It's like, uh, you know, those big important questions that never... Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Over the top. Oh, that Birmingham keeper with that sweet southern style. Is Birmingham in the south of England or in the, the Midlands or in the north or is it in Scotland? Is it in Ireland? Nobody knows for sure. That's another thing that historians don't know. No, you can't Google it because people actually haven't figured it out yet. They, they don't know. It's like, oh, oh, I think that was Frankenstein. Golden child, golden child. Oh, the golden child. He was, go yes, he was failed. I agree, sir. Great point. All right, we're going to try... We're going to try to do something extraordinary here. We're going to try to score a goal. You ready? Not good. God, I'm so bad at that. <sighs> Fergaberg. 66th minute. I know that we need to, I know that we need Deanie and Dicko, but I just can't. It's hard to imagine a world in which Deanie and Dicko are, are, are stronger than John Green and John Green. Well, first off, the golden child is just flat out exhausted. The poor, the poor thing. He's only 12 years old, and I've worked him so hard. It's hard out there for a golden child. I am going to bring on Dicko, and I am going to bring on Deanie. I just, I feel that it's the right thing to do for the club, and I know that you have to make all three substitutions at once because that's how the professionals do it. Um, yeah, so, I, I, and now it's, I've been out of the hospital for three or four days, and I still feel pretty bad, uh, to be honest with you. I still feel pretty crappy. Uh, this is my first day back in the office, and it's about half a day, and... I just don't feel good. I got a headache and still have to take pain medication for my headache. And eh, it just kind of sucks. So I don't know. I mean, I've been told that I'll get gradually better. And I, I believe the doctors. But uh, I'm kind of in a hurry to feel better because I don't really have time to take. Like, I can't. I don't have vacation time or anything like that. You know, like, 
I know that lots of people are in worse situations when it comes to this, so I'm just trying to remind myself of that. But, yeah, it's a little frustrating. Speaking of frustrating, we can't score a freaking goal. All right, time for the golden child to come off. Hell's Pels, Houdini, and Mr. Dicko. Meredith, do we have a good Dicko song yet? You know, what, you know what word I love saying more than any other word in the entire English language? No, not yet. Dicko! I love saying it. Do I say yet a lot? And yet? Oh. I say, you know what, I, I, I say you know a lot, and I say like a lot, and I say a lot a lot. But I feel like, um, I feel like I say yet about a regular amount. But I love, I, there's something about the word dicko that I love saying. Dicko, dicko, dicko. It's just a beautiful word. It sounds like poetry. It's, is it iambic? Deco. No, no, it's not iambic. There's Deanie, Houdini. He's good. That guy's got terrible hair. He makes Callum Kennedy look downright handsome. That guy's got a weird zombie eyes, doesn't he? Packwood. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I've managed not to acquire Packwood. <laughs> Comes uh, Gilchrist, Gilchrist is coming on. All right, so we got to go ahead. We got, we're in the 82nd minute here. It's looking like the, uh, a nil-nil draw, which is not an ideal when you're in 15th. You don't want to be getting too many nil-nil draws. But uh, I'd like to think that the dream is alive. Um, we just got to get one. That was a nice ball. Just got to get one nice piece of play together. There's Dicko. Dicko, he's not tired. Oh, he's not heavy. He's my Dicko. Dicko. You're better than that. Come on, K. St. Luce. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the pass it to Dicko. And then back to K. St. Luce. To Dicko. No! Anything but that. Ah, oh, Fergaberg. So, I don't know how long I'm going to be sick for. I'm sorry. Uh, hope it's not too long. Hope it doesn't interrupt your wimbly-wombly enjoyment too much. Um, certainly, I'm going to do my best to break, to, you know, to, to, to obviously, I, I think right now I'm not at my, my full wimbly-wombly skill level. Oh, but maybe I don't need to be. Maybe I don't need to be. Ah! Dicko! Dicko! Dicko in the 90th minute! Dicko wins the game in my return from viral meningitis! Dicko! 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 Dick! Oh! Maybe that's his song. What'd you think of that, Meredith? Oh yeah, I said I, said I wasn't going to be loud because I didn't feel very good. But I didn't feel very good. But then Dicko made me feel awesome for just one second. Context is everything. Thank you for watching. We won the game. Best wishes. <laughs>